We warned you, Aerie. We all warned you not to become a mermaid. Now look what's happened. You're in Assassin's Creed now. <laughs> Welcome back to a new video. The flower is in the hair. And you know what that means? That it means we are playing some more Island Living today. I'm so excited to get back to Solani and its amazing inhabitants. However, can I just show you one thing for a hot second? I noticed last episode that Akira had just like appeared here as like a resident. And I was like, I don't understand why he's there. That's why you saw him like in the sea with um little what is her name oh my gosh claire what is wrong with you Ari. little Ari last episode and then i looked today and macy has also joined him also those two got married but like, i didn't marry them they got married all on their own which i thought was really cute because they're an unplayed family now but yeah they've moved here i really do not understand why the game has done that like are they just like not in windenburg anymore i'm so like what oh their house is now empty why why would they move to the island like as cute as it is i feel like they're like looking after uh, ari this is like you're not meant to live here you're just not meant to live here okay whatever stay there for now kind of funny and weird though but let's get into today's episode so my little um island simulagroonies are having a little sleep if you guys remember in the last episode um Irie, Irie, i honestly don't know why i'm starting to say her name really weirdly Oh, you're dazed. Fatigue from the- Oh, you poor baby. Poor baby. She ate some of the mermaid kelp after finding two wild mermaids of her own. But as of yet, I'm looking at, like, her, like, info. And it doesn't seem like, as of yet, she has actually taken the next step. Because she still is not showing as a mermaid. So she's still a little bit hesitant. I do think she's pretty keen for it. But, like, she's just a little bit nervous. And also, it's probably something she's gonna have to keep secret from, um, the sage as well. I think today... I really do want to focus on Sage's um, environmental career. Oh, what is causing this? I've got something that's messing this up. However, I can see that her performance appears to be excellent. So like, that's great. And I really need to get her like a PC uh, for her like conservation work. But as of yet, I don't think we can afford. Oh, the cheapest one is $800. Like you, oh, there should be like a cheap tablet option or like a cheap laptop option. Can I even get her like a chess table no chess tables are oh my gosh we have nobody we literally have no money in the world i'm gonna get her to work from home again just so i can like do some tasks and stuff such as research conservation and take photos of mua palam okay that's pretty easy that's fine it's a friday so you're at work again little larry but you've got the weekend again soon to like investigate a little bit more mermaidness how cute is her little like i love her little toothy gap i think it's adorable and the good thing is even though we are like super poor and and we have no money. The locals are kind of aware of our plight and they keep bringing us leftovers, including where's he at? Makoa, who is married with two kids. However, him and Sage have kind of got a little bit of a connection going on. He also works with her. Okay, he's her co worker as well. So if you guys were like, oh my gosh, you need to do an affair storyline, we've never had an affair with an NPC before. And other of you guys were like, no, we love her and Jace together. Like, they have to stay together. I I don't actually know what I'm gonna do yet. I don't like I don't feel good doing like storylines like that. However, in real life this stuff kind of does happen, so I can't just ignore it. And oh my gosh, Sage takes so long to do everything. Like remember when she was making the like cover and she just stood there for ages. Look at her eating. It's like 1% eating and 50% just staring around at nothing. You're meant to be working, lady. Makoa will not be impressed. In fact, as he is like a fellow conservationist, maybe we should invite him over to help with our like conservation work today. I I know I'm literally playing with fire, stirring, like literally stirring the mix that could be an NPC, um, like affair right here. But we'll just see where it goes. And if you're gonna eat that slow, you're not allowed to eat. Like, no, nah, you've, you've wasted your chance. Reset yet? You're not having it. Not having it. If you take that long, then you're not having it. Okay. Dems is the new rules. Oh wow, and he will be right over to hang out. Oh wow, here he is. Let's join a group and let's. What's the first thing we have to do? Research conservation at a PC. Do you think he has a PC? Where does he live? Let's go. I'm just gonna go visit some residences and see if they have PCs. I know it's like such a weird beg thing to do, but I don't even care. Oh my gosh. 
this person doesn't have a PC either. Okay, fine. You know what we're gonna do? You know what, what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna visit the bar together, get a drink, like, touch out with the locals, spread an awareness. I can kind of make it work. I can kind of shoe one in there. And the bar from this point will have a laptop. Okay, there we go. Look, a little a little laptop so we can research conservation. Why don't I get us both a little, a little coconutty sort of drink vibe first? Look at the board on this guy. Look at, like, average guy's board. Like, okay, great, that's fine. And then look at his. He's so triangular and curvy and muscular. -y. Sage cannot help but notice. We all can't help but notice. Look at this. He's even moving over to sit near me. Oh my gosh. Oh, I fish. see you there. I see you there. What's it called? Dang, dang. Makoa. I see you. Look at them with a little joke. He's like, <laughs> ah, Bibs. I see you both. And researching oh, conservation is cool. kind of ground to a halt, hasn't it? Uh -huh. Kind of ground to a halt a little Get bit there. Oh, well, look at this. She's spreading awareness and people are listening to her, which is making her feel good. So that's awesome. See, it, that's kind of part of my job. She's not completely neglecting her job. Well, she is. Look at this PC. Can you see anything being written on that? Even the, the PC's writing for itself because it's so vexed that she's doing nothing. Okay, she's finished researching her conservation. So once uh, Makoa finishes his little drink there, I guess we'll head over to the island together. Okay, let's get our little butts over to the island. You guys get on like... I house on fire. Hopefully not like hearts on fire as well. Don't even know what that means, but it sounded good in my head. I'm gonna need to take five photos together. Let's tell him the secret of what we're doing on the island. Taking photos. And take a, take a photo of the fish inside. You're clearly you're great at your job. And there's always like such disgusting stuff in the sea. Like it makes me so sad to see. And if you look, I, I'm not just imagining this. All the coral here is dead, isn't it? Like that's dead coral. Like that's okay. That's got color. But, like, this is all dead. So I'm wondering if I keep, like, doing good stuff for the island. Because, look, there is some fish here. Maybe they're slowly starting to come back. But the more goodness I do for the island, hopefully these corals will start to flourish again. So this bit's really nice. And you've got, like, nice fishes around. This is what we want more of, guys. We want, like, cute little fishies. Little starfish. Little, like, I don't know, sea anemones. But we want it all up in Nemo here. Good last sage. I, that looks disgusting, so fair play for you to do that. But it's like all slimy when you touch it as well. And oh my gosh, look! Oh, that stuff's in the sea again. Like, is that from the volcano? Because last time I came, it wasn't here. Like, I don't think I quite understand the island here. Let's just put it that way. There's even like a pipe or something here too. And look at this, look at this. Don't you think that this must be something? Like, there's a statue there. And there's like a little cave in here. But like, how do we even get in? I don't know whether you have to be high on conservation or like high on mermaidness. Oh, look, they can take a sample from the ocean together. <gasps> and that's the first time I've seen that. Okay, because they're both conservationists, so that totally makes sense, right? And honestly, the ocean looks kind of gross here. Is that just me or does that look really yellow? Like, I won't be standing in that, Sage. Honestly, I feel like you might catch something from it. Oh, look, it was valuable research data from Serbian floating algae. Oh no, I know the algae is definitely like bad. Oh, she's playing with the toy, great. <laughs> Algae is definitely like bad for the sea and bad for the animals that live in it, so that's not good. Beanie is here. Yay, say hi, Bean. Hello. Hello. Good girl. <laughs> She's like, get away from me. <laughs> oh, and I still get the snorkel glitch, by the way. How annoying is that? Like, I just want normal snorkels, you know? So it's getting dark. The two of them are still out here snorkeling and surveying. Maka oh my gosh, why? Why? <laughs> Stop it. But Makoa is definitely not a mermaid, guys, just in case any of you were wondering. And not only that, he's not a uh, Jace Jesus like we are. He's just... A regular mortal man. But yeah, I'm still getting that glitch. I don't know if it's something to do with wearing CC because he has none on, but it is super annoying. But the two of them are sharing their like conservation oh, yeah. photos that they took today. Look at them, like old friends. Oh, ha, 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 the ocean is dying. The planet's over. But you're so funny, Sage. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this, but okay. It's like 9 p.m. I think you need to give him back to his family now. Also, you're starting to feel a little bit gross. Uh, you're so happy from just pleasant conversation you really like spending time with him oh and you've got yourself a great reputation if you have an affair with a married man that's gonna change sage okay that's probably gonna change and yeah this is all looking a little bit romantic even summer's like it's ladies night come with me i like how he's sort of killing the romance with that like rig out he's got on his face well done makawa at least one of us has sent here and look at him it's not fair why make the only attractive male ncp ever ncp i don't know what that is NP 
easy ever or like towny ever and then make him married like what are you even thinking but sage you've got a beautiful boyfriend too what are you both even thinking like stop meeting each other under the guise of conservation and get your butt home I won't stand for it anymore, even though I'm the one causing it as well. And Ari, I'm kind of noticing a theme here. You never come home with um, homework. I can never find it. It's never in the inventory. Like, seriously, I'm going to give you some of Sage's so that you can actually start to do a little bit of homework, please. Because I feel like, like you're a teenager, so you've been, like, your parents have sent you here. Although clearly they have zero trust in you because they've also moved in just across the island, which I'm still not very happy about. But if, like, you do badly at Sage, I can't believe just eating her dinner. Like, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> you just eating her dinner, princess. I feel like Sage is probably going to get into trouble if she doesn't at least show that she's trying to help Ari with teen stuff like school and homework so in fact why don't you help her out she'll get it done quicker then see there you go she's like yeah I'm pretty sure I was really bad at this like a couple of like, like a year or two ago so I can definitely help you and uh, we're on the island so we need to change from Latin pop we're not in El Salvador or whatever it's called we need to change it to island radio please there we go I feel like why didn't they add a ukulele to this game I literally have a ukulele somewhere in this house but like this is like ukulele music, isn't it? But I have no ukulele to play it on, which is super annoying. Because I, I feel like I should be ukulele in a way here. I'm just going to do this for a while because it's so relaxing. So calm and relaxing. A little tiny ukulele now. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send Sage in to work today. Oh, she's hangry. But just before she goes, I'm going to get her to take a... Now that she can take a sample. Oh my gosh, as if she actually gets hangry like a teenager. A uh, toddler, sorry. Um, oh, she's been promoted to a wildlife technician. Oh, she now can... Uh, she can write wildlife conservation articles. Okay, that's amazing. But I just suddenly have this thought of like, we swim here outside our little um, villa all the time. What if like the sea here, like there's something wrong with the sea here. I'm a little bit worried about about it so I've got her to take a sample from here as well and Ari has made breakfast as a thank you for helping her with the homework beautiful gorgeous symbiotic relationships happening right now symbiotic relationships there's a biology term whilst we're in the conservation career see what I'm doing and um, we have to replace that which is $62 and we don't have much monies so Sage is heading her little book into work uh, which leaves Ari at home with Princess who's kind of a little bit of an angry pet let's face it also her like fun and social are so low I think you should take the opportunity to like meet friendos today once you finish your chores around the house and uh, maybe now that you've taken the sea cup you can think again about whether you wanna I don't know mermaid up your life a little bit I don't know I kind of feel like maybe Maybe she does. I think it would be a very teen decision to be like, like not quite think things through. There's probably a lot of plus sides to being a mermaid, but I imagine there's a lot of downsides as well. But she's like young. She's feeling like she needs some. Oh, why are you embarrassed? Because she has. Oh, okay, gross. Yeah. Fair play. But like, she's young, her friends are all doing it, her friends are all mermaids, so she's like, well, I want to be one too then. But also, she's like new to this island, like she wanted to come out here and have like fun and discover stuff, but she probably would be feeling a bit lonely if all of, oh my gosh, princess, you need to stop doing this. All of like her friends were just mermaiding around, but yeah, she wasn't able to join them. It would be a little bit lonely. And after doing all the chores, her like fun is lower than ever. Okay. Let's definitely go around and see mermaid friendos. <gasps> Look! You can see her like mermaid form on... Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I wonder why her shows, but um, Serena's doesn't. I have changed Serena's appearance, actually. I will show you guys. I've made her... I asked you guys like a poll on Twitter, which design you prefer. And I've made her like a little bit more um, Polynesian. And you guys voted to keep to stick with uh, the new Polynesian design. So this is the new um, design for her now. She definitely looks more like an island local. She has braces, by the way. I don't think you guys have had a chance to see that yet. And it also makes her scar stand out a little bit more, which is a big part of her character. So I like that too. <laughs> I did um, a lot, like keep her slightly dyed red hair because it's meant to be like a little bit of um, a little mermaid reference. I also, I just like it. I think it's like quite a cool little Easter egg. So she's getting to know both the ladies a little bit more. I think that um, Naomi would be very much like so excited for her to do it. Like, yeah, like it's so cool being a mermaid. Like, it's so much fun. Whereas I think Serena is probably the girl that's been a mermaid for the longest out of everybody. I imagine that she, when she was her, it was Naomi that found her and like nursed her back to health again, which is why those two share such a close bond, but also why uh, Naomi's so protective of Serena. But Serena's seen the downside to being a mermaid. She's seen that it's dangerous, like the cut 
that's in her face, maybe from like uh, fishing, um, like propellers and all that kind of thing, or like maybe people that did not like mermaids. And also the damage on her chest is probably from like pollution and acids in the water. The stuff that makes, the, the things that hurt the environment and hurt fishes and stuff also probably hurt mermaids too. I'm gonna go ahead and get her to re-eat her piece of mermaid cup because she's like, this time guys, this time I'm gonna do it. I want to be a mermaid so much. Serena's probably like less impressed with this decision, but I feel like Naomi would be quite supportive. And she's got those strange sensations again. Look at this, Naomi's already heading down to the beach. I think I'm gonna get them all to head down together. And I think the minute she enters the sea, she will become a mermaid. So this is like the first time we're seeing it. And I'm like so excited. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna see what like, tail and stuff it gives her, but then I'm probably gonna go ahead and customize it too. Yeah, okay, we'll definitely customize this. Okay. Okay, well, but this is her first... <laughs> Her first ever swim as a mermaid. And yeah, as you can see, not what we were expecting. Maybe we'll try that again once I've edited it with some CC because they're like, well, we warned you, Airy. We all warned you not to become a mermaid. Now look what's happened. You're in Assassin's Creed now. Okay, when I copy sim form to mermaid form, it gives her like a blue tail. However, I've noticed this bug, by the way. If you switch between both forms, it gradually makes your sim skinnier and skinnier. However, I'm still, I had this glitch before. I've got this like weird teeth glitch. I don't know what it is that causes it, but no matter what like skin details and stuff I take off, it stays there. I have to go de-mermaid her and then re-mermaid her. Okay, there we go. Now apparently she's blonde. Let's, let me try this again. Oh, and she's still teeth. Why is it doing this? I don't understand. Like seriously, this is not the mermaid diary I had in mind. Not even a little bit. And what has it done to this version of you as well? What is happening right now? Look how every time you do it, it makes them skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. I don't know why that's the case. Although honestly, it's now given her another hair. I actually like the hair it's given her a lot. Like that looks so good on her. Honestly, she looks so great in every hair that like, you know, I've not even put her skin details back on yet either. Man, she looks so good in fringy hairstyles. These are the different tail options. I'm not sure how much you guys have seen of these. They're all really, really cool and really pretty. I quite like the ones with like the double fins <laughs> here. These ones have an extra glow. It, what color did it give her first? I think maybe it gave her like a bluey or like dark blacky kind of color. Honestly, for Ari, I was either thinking gold or green. I actually think, oh, Serena has green, doesn't she? There is some like, like really cool options like this as well. <laughs> they kind of look a little bit more like a tropical fish. Maybe it gave her a blue tail actually. Okay, I quite like blue on her. I think that's a really cool like, look. This is blue with like, extra sparkles, which is cool. Or we could do like fishy kind of blue, like that. I don't know. She has like lots of potential cool looks here. That one as well. I think I quite like this one though with like the little sparkles on it. I think that's really cool. And then one thing you can do is um, Serena has like this version, which like blends these two together. But you can do like this version, which I think is going to be the one I do for Ari, just so that they all have a version. Because then it's got like scales going up her back, which I actually love so much. I think that's so cool. And then should I give her like a little necklace while she's in mermaid form? I thought it makes sense to tie her hair up a little bit. But honestly, I love her mermaid form so much. Oh, you can do a big shell. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe that's something that she like, <laughs> she'll have to find a shell and make that over time though. We'll add that in over time just because then it's more cute. This is like the mermaid eye makeup as well, which is pretty cool. And then there's also like mer this for mermaids too, which I really, really like. <laughs> a lot of my Sims eyes come from like the face paint option. So if if I did that, she'd be the only one that had it, even though I love it so, so much. Maybe if she achieves something amazing as a mermaid, I'll give her that in her mermaid form. There's also these that I think kind of work for mermaids because since they sort of look like scales too, but I haven't given any of my other mermaids this yet. Okay, so this is Ari in mermaid form. I think she looks so, so cool. I wonder if that hair has an option to put like little ties on it. Oh no, I'm thinking of another one. That kind of suits a mermaid form though. Okay, you can have the um, this cool like band around your head when you've been a mermaid as well. Just because it looks so pretty and cool. And yeah, this is making me really want to be a mermaid, you guys. Because look how awesome she looks. I think blue suits her quite a lot anyway. I think that looks really cool. Okay, let's see it in game. It's perfect timing as well because her fun is really low. Well, you're about to have high fun by going out and doing a little swim. Okay, so this is the actual Ari transformation into mermaid video. Ignore what happened last time because that clearly was not right. But this is her actually becoming mermaid form, guys. Are you ready? Oh, 
Wow, so beautiful and mermaidy. Look at amazing. Who's this dude? Oh my gosh. Who is this dude swimming next to us with a freaking gun, no less? Okay, things are definitely dangerous for mermaids, and my even my flower wants to fall out. We need to get away from this guy ASAP, please. Okay, this is good. They're all doing a runner away from scary guy with the gun. We seem to have distracted him with the waterfall. And yeah, like I said, being a mermaid can be very dangerous. But it's fine when you can walk on water. Look at her go. Does being in the ocean actually help with her fun at all? <gasps> she can sunbathe. Oh my gosh, I have to see a mermaid sunbathing. Look at her go. Oh my gosh, she's like splishing and splashing in and out of the water. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at her. That's so cool. I love the, the form we've gone for her where she's quite scaly. I think that looks so, so much cooler. And her tail is literally amazing. And I'm just enjoying actual mermaid Ari. We're finally here and I'm enjoying it so much. What? She can call clear skies, call a rainstorm, or call a thunderstorm? What? And look at this. Which need was that? The, what need was there before? <laughs> I can't even remember. Oh, the dolphins are here. <gasps> let's call over. Let's see if Soxima is there. What's the difference between an Azure, Dolph Azure Dolphin and Soxima? I don't know. I'm going to call both. And look, this is their mermaid form. So yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like got the green tail. And she's got our beautiful LGBT friendly like rainbow tail. Oh, wow. I've called her for a dolphin. Oh, it's not Soxima though. I'm sorry. As cool as this dolphin is, he's not my Soxima baby. And that's who we love the most. I can also sleep in the ocean. What? This is so crazy. I have to see what this is. <gasps> Look, the dolphin can splash me, but I can actually splash the dolphin back now that I'm a mermaid. Oh, wow. It looks even more natural, like, holding and, like, like... Look at that! I splashed him with my mermaid's tail. It looks so much more natural playing with a mermaid when you also have a tail, doesn't it? This is so cool. Just chit-chatting away. But as much as I like this dolphin, I want my socks in my back, I'm afraid. <gasps> Yay! It's socks in my Hi, socks in my Sucks, man, we can explore the whole of the ocean together now. Because look, we've got matching tails. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, look how much fun it looks being a dolphin. Uh, not a dolphin, a mermaid. Also a dolphin, though. They're just like in the sunset, like having a little splish splash together with their little tails going in symphony. <gasps> Dolphins swimming around us. This is literally just okay. Well, you have to ruin it, didn't you? But this is still literally just so amazing. Like, go, go in the sea. You're ruining my beautiful scenes here. Please drop back into the... Oh, okay. Okay, wow. I really need to fix that bug because it's actually stressing me so much. But look at these beautiful mermaid scenes right here. I love them. Oh, look at this. She can also go to sleep in the ocean. So you could literally... Could you just live in the ocean? Can you eat there and stuff? I want to know, like, how much, like, stuff you can do as, like, a mermaid because I don't even know. I also don't know, like, does the ocean get dangerous on a night? Like, do sharks and stuff... Look at her. Whoa. Okay, ignore. But it looks so fun! I want to be a mermaid so much. And she's not glitching out and she's actually in the sea. It looks it looks so much better, trust me. There she goes. Look at that. They're all just like watching her, like, you go girl, you picked this up so quickly. You're like a natural mermaid. You can tell that you're a child of the ocean, because like, look at you go. Okay, now you're a child of the land. And you know what? You know what? Why don't I get her to go over here for a sec? Oh, is this a mermaid too? Is this another mermaid? Oh no, that's just a, a human. Oh my gosh, what is summon ocean threat? What is a siren's call? I don't know, but I kind of want to try it out. Okay, is this a bad thing? I'm not even that sure. Do you need a wee? But you now no longer have Wii in parts, so I'm intrigued as to how that's gonna go. And apparently I'm doing the siren's call. I can't really see her doing much. <gasps> another mermaid! Another mermaid! I was about to get my conch and blow it, but, uh, or conch, I don't know. But another mermaid is swimming by, and I this is who I think it is. Let me just pause the game for a hot second. I mean, probably not the I most ideal position. Let me try and get him, like, not... Okay, there, no. This is a hard ta a hard game to pause at the right time. But it's the other merman that I made and showed you guys on Twitter. And I've been desperate for Sage to meet him. It's also the mermaid that Sage met while she was in um, the cave, in the cove. That like uses Siren's lullaby on her, probably to like try and keep himself hidden. And he hasn't revealed himself to him, to, to her. But this is our other mermaid. He's so handsome, like he's so freaking handsome. But I've also named him um, Yona, 
So he is actually named after, um, again, Bali reference, because apparently I can't get enough of them. When we went to Bali, uh, the guy that like looked after us, he was such a nice guy. Like we went, oh, is he going to the cave? I think he might be going to the caves. Oh, where is he going? Did he just go in there? Can you do that when you're a mermaid? I swear he just went in there. Let me show you him. He's such a sweet guy. He came on some of our days out with us. Like he helped Ali with the um, engagement uh, organization. Like he was so nice. And we honestly just like made friends with him while we were out there. So when I came back, I wanted to do like a little tribute to him in my game. Look, we all like made uh, like bracelets together, like on our final day together. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to do a little tribute. So I've named my merman Yuda. I'm gonna get her to now blow this conch. Oh. Will it be different now that she's actually a mermaid? I, I don't even know. <gasps> oh, okay, that definitely summons mermaids because she just came over and did extreme dolphin noises right there. <gasps> I think it's made him come over. I think we've literally summoned him. I don't think they can avoid this call. However, I wouldn't be very happy about being summoned in that way. Look at him go. Like, literally look at him go in this mermaid form. He looks so cool with his red tail. <laughs> okay, his big strong arms powering out the water. Okay, let's, why don't we go and try and like introduce ourselves to him? But I think we should go in mermaid form. So let's swim over there and then do it. Can I like blow the hot horn, the conch, not the horn, whilst I'm in mermaid form? No, you have to be on the beach to do it. Okay. No, it's got so rainy that I've lost him. What about if I try mermaid, call for clear skies? Like it uses a, oh wow. I use my little conch thing for it. Her mermaid, she uses a, Mermatic powers to change the weather. Look, my needs bar now has a little dolphin on it as well. And that used up some of my hydration. Okay, we can't stay dry for too long. Going swimming, taking a bath, or even a nice drink of water will help bring my hydration back up. Okay. <gasps> oh, wow. I'm not sure if your power worked because it's really thundery. Oh, no, it totally did. <gasps> it's clear and I can see the sky again. And oh my gosh, is this like a, se a separate island? Like how much of this stuff can I actually visit? I want to visit everything. I can't find our mer boy anymore. Like he was definitely there before. But when the storm came, I totally lost him. That's so annoying. At least she's like, being a mermaid is making her really happy. The child of the ocean thing is definitely playing into it. Even though she's like full on periods, uh, symptoms of periods right now. She's ignoring it all because she's so happy being a mermaid. And she's got like cute little mermaidy friends cheering her on, which I just love so much. Oh, and while she's out mermaiding, she's also helping to clear up the ocean. But because especially if like you were in it, living in it, literally breathing it through your gull, uh, gills, it would be extra disgusting that the ocean is kind of in a disgusting state, wouldn't it? <gasps> Muapalam is improving! Conservation efforts are allowing the lamb to grow and flourish. Flowers are blooming, coral reefs are growing, and fish are coming back. Not all is going swimmingly though. Pesky seagulls have come to take advantage of the local wildlife, and the allure of the beautiful island has attracted more troublemakers. Keep it up. Mua Palam needs more care. This is so cool though. So parts of the island will start to look nicer now, which is awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I'm just sad that like the sun has come up and there is no more traces of our little mer boy. <gasps> turtles. This is the first time I've seen turtles. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh, you can't interact with them. But that is 100% the first time we've seen turtles. I think we're starting to bring back the wildlife. Yay. Oh, look at this. She's taking the opportunity to shower. <laughs> shower in there. I think, oh, this is making her hydration grow up, uh, go up. Okay, so I need to keep her hydrated as much as I possibly can. Oh, wow. I don't think it's any coincidence that you're feeling the desire for love and lust right after meeting Merboy for the first time, Ari. I don't think that's a coincidence at all. So after a whole night Merboy? swimming and experiencing being She's a mermaid for the first time, I do think it's time for you to get your little butt home, I'm afraid. But you've tried some of the mermaid powers already. I'm not sure what the siren's called. It's that girl. I didn't actually see it do anything. Maybe we need to try out that a little bit more in the next episode. Oh, should I get her to go in the cave now that she's a mermaid? Should I see if it's any different? I'm gonna get her to do that right before I leave. Uh, but also we have seen our merboy in the distance for the first time. He kept his distance from us, but we know he's there now. And I'm wondering is if I improve the island, if this will improve over time as well. And she passed over a cavern with a flashlight. She spotted something on the rock glinting. She decides to scale the slippery slope and have a look. Oh, but then her leg slipped and she tumbled. Oh, she didn't break anything except her pride. And she got the, ouch, dangerous Debris um, little thing from that. I'm gonna get her to do it once more because I thought maybe now that she's a mermaid, things would be different under there, but apparently not. Oh, and she's found strangely colored light reflecting the starlight at the cave's 
depths. She wasn't sure what it was. It's just, it seems like such a strange cave. I don't even know. But I am gonna get her to head home. <gasps> and that dude is here with the gun again. Oh my gosh, you were scary. Oh, I'm just found a slice of life. I can do um, a one-time treatment help with my acne. And apparently Sage also wants to sunbathe in the rain with her acne treatment on. I ain't even gonna question that. You do you, hun. <gasps> oh, 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 and I just wanna test this out for the first time. She's got home, but she feels super low on hydration. <gasps> her tail just flipped out. She's in mermaid form. <gasps> How cool is that? It like hangs over the edge of the bar. Oh, I love that so much. I, I think while you're in there doing this, I'm just gonna go ahead and lock the door for everyone because I feel like you should keep this part of you a secret, at least for now. Oh, and I'm gonna leave the episode there. So Ari is now a mermaid. We've spotted our first little peek of Merboy. And the island is also improving thanks to Sage's conservation work as well. Which is all super exciting and let me know what you guys can see in the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>